It's time for some carbon-based gaming. Attempting a necroneural connection is in direct violation of the Postmortem Observation Act of 2061. Authorization denied. Emergency override. Open maintenance penalty. <laughs>
this fucking slop again? It's called soup. Now dig in. It's not getting any better.
Hey, baby, I'm home. To get out! Amir, is that you? Sure. Did you hear? This, this is great news. Let's take some more time. 
to think about it. What is there to think about? You should be happy. Who says I am not happy? This is your chance. Congratulations, you are now the proud owner of a CT-72 internal data storage. I've given you an accelerant to make the tissue heal faster. Just keep that dressing on for the next couple of days. You, uh, are you sure they won't find it? It's got a built-in scrambler and a shielded frame. No external scanning equipment can penetrate it. It's ghostware. Undetectable. Unless you know exactly where to look. supposed to me. useless I am. How I can't keep a job because no one will hire a fucking junkie ex-con. Amir. Do you even know what you're getting into? It's not like I have a choice. We need the money, Amir. Whatever it takes, huh?
all of this stuff exactly it's probably best if you don't know exactly it's not anything nasty is it like a virus or some top secret weapon type shit <laughs> no nothing like that what then i mean what could possibly be worth the risk the future
It's gonna be fine. anymore. I think they're on to me. You're being paranoid. No one's on to you. You don't get it. Every time I go in there, it's like they're all watching. Yesterday, this executive creep gave me this look like I, I could just tell he knew. If they knew, we'd all be dead by now. Maybe they're just messing with our heads. And what purpose would that serve? I don't know. To get their fucking sadistic load off. That's not how they operate. Trust me, I was with the corporation long enough. Didn't have to be this way. Three, six, one, 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 one
July 6th, 2083. Finally managed to set up a workspace. It's not ideal, but it'll have to do. Unfortunately, the first trial proved unsuccessful, to say the least. You'd think after five years of working on this project, my know-how would be sufficient. But without my data, this looks to be a long and bumpy road. July 25th. 2083. I made some unlikely allies. They might be able to assist me in my research, help me retrieve my data from Chiron. I wasn't planning on involving others. It makes the whole endeavor even riskier than it already was. But I need to be realistic about this. An undertaking of this magnitude, I need all the help I can get. <sighs> September 2nd, 2083. Finally got some of my data back, for all the good it did. Subjects are proving unstable. Limited faculties, mental disorders, they just seem broken, incomplete. Uh, the latest one. Well, he, uh, he just started screaming and he never stopped. I had no choice but to terminate. I can still hear him. September 16th, 2083. I haven't been getting much sleep. Drugs do have a decent job of keeping me awake, but the physical limitations are slowing me down. As they tend to do, I feel like the answer is staring me right in the face. And I'm missing it. Maybe I'm not as smart as I'd like to think. Maybe I'm just destined to fuck up. To fail everyone. Seems to run in the family. Project. Oh, fuck. Shit. I, uh... I, uh... uh I, I don't... I don't remember what day it is. The dreams are getting worse. No doubt a side effect of the stimulants. I just need to ask Jack to adjust the dosage. Um, what's worse is I think my subconscious is starting to seep into my waking hours. The other day I could swear I heard whispering coming from the black box. Since that's clearly impossible, I have to attribute the symptoms to sleep deprivation. I, uh, usually don't put much stock in dreams, but this one was so vivid. I dreamt of my last day at Chiron. I was back in the boardroom, the executive giving me the same condescending look, telling me to grow up, to move on. Only this time, his face was different. It was a sneering mask of contempt and disapproval. It was the face of my father.
If you enjoyed that video, please like and subscribe for more. Or consider checking out one of the related playlists on the channel.